What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and in this video I want to talk to you guys about our Pro Plus Motion Racing Simulator. I'm going to go into detail about all the different individual pieces to it and what it takes to actually build one of these. Now we didn't actually offer these simulators from the beginning. It took a little bit of time for us to build up and get to this level but this racing simulator has turned into one of my favorites. If you're looking for just fun and just an all-around good time you can't get on this thing and then get off and not be fun you know have a big old smile on your face. Now uh, this Simulator in particular has a lot of really beautiful pieces on it. Uh What's up guys, I wanted to stop the video really quick to tell you that if you are looking for a motion simulator for your home, your office, your business, anything like this, text me personally, 702-246-2295. We'll figure out exactly what it is to fit your needs, get it built, installed in your place, and then uh, so you can start having some fun. All right, back to the video. Now, the biggest thing about this simulator is the motion platform and the way that the motion platform actually works. When you look down here, we are currently using the PT Actuator Dragon Kit. Now, this is a six DOF kit, um, and so that basically means it has six degrees of freedom. A degree of freedom is an axis that the simulator moves on. So this has six different axes that it's actually able to sway across. It has vertical um, sway, it has surge, it has uh, yaw, it has a ton. And all these things are actually programmable inside of the software. You can see the actuators right here uh, bolted onto the side. And you can see right now it's actually powered up halfway. It's sitting in the middle of its stroke. Now, what makes these actuators so nice is it actually has six inches of travel. Not all motion out there on the market has the same travel, and they don't all feel the same either, by the way. But this simulator has six inches of travel. And so right now, it's powered up, and it's, at the, the, uh, it's sitting inside of its middle way. So with six inches of travel, that means it has six inches, of, or it has three inches of travel up, three inches of travel down, because when it powers up, it sits right in the middle of the, both of those. Now, you have something out there on the market kind of like D-Box. D-Box only has an inch and a half of travel. So it has three quarters of an inch of travel up three quarters of an inch of travel down. It doesn't move much at all. This simulator has a ton of travel. Um, right down here on the bottom, you can see that there's an actuator there, and it has one of these actuators also in the front. These actuators power the traction loss system on the motion. So when the back end of the, of the car steps out, the back end of the simulator actually sways, whether it's left or it sways across over there to the right. It, if you were drifting, this thing actually sways from left to right on the back end of it like this to give you that sensation of you losing uh, grip in the, front, in, in the rear. This one also has the actuator in the front though that does it as well. So if you run into an understeer situation where you're turning in for a corner and then the front end pushes out, the front end of the simulator uh, washes out as well. And then right down below in the middle, there is a surge actuator right there. And that surge actuator uh, controls forward to back movement. So the, you know, the simulator moving this way. Uh, so when you shift gears or even when you hit the brake, the simulator surges forward and so you can feel the front end or the nose dive. So the motion uh, of this simulator is really cool. All the different degrees of freedom, the uh, axis that it moves on and the way that it just tries to recreate uh, driving or simulating driving a car on the track um, out there. What's really cool is since iRacing is so uh, in detail with the way that they laser scan all the tracks, uh, if there is a bump on the racetrack, you actually feel that bump right here on the simulator. It's that in detail uh, between the two. So like there's a, I know there's a bump over here on, on Watkins Glen that like when you're coming into the, uh, the carousel right at the end of the straight, the way that it dips into it when you come over the rise and then dips in, uh, you can feel it on, on, on the simulator and it's actually pretty damn cool. So that's the motion platform. This is by PT Actuator, the Six Degrees of Freedom uh, Dragon Kit. Fairly new kit, uh, but it's really cool. We like it. You can see the guys did an absolute phenomenal job on this because there's, you don't see much of the wiring, like literally at all. Everything is tucked beautifully um, within the chassis. You don't see any of the actuator wires uh, from the back end. It just looks absolutely un unbelievable. On top of the uh, PT Actuator um, chassis, we are using our Sim Coaches chassis. So we have our own proprietary chassis that we use here in-house. We're not buying Track Racer or Sim Lab or, or um, any of these brands. We're, we actually, Sim Coaches, we have our own branded chassis. And we don't sell these on our website because I, I really order them in for our turnkey builds. Uh, chassis are, are a hard product because you know they're heavy. It takes a lot of money to ship them. They're prone to getting damaged during shipping. Uh, and so I haven't actually wanted to, to ship chassis yet. But So we have our chassis that we're using. Um, this back plate right here should have been a solid without any grooves, but that'll turn into a solid one. You can see it has solids on the side and then the uh, uprights and the shifter housing have the grooves on uh, all four sides so you can still mount things to them. Because overall, you know, extrusion isn't the prettiest looking simulator. It's not, there's prettier looking simulators, but 
Extrusion is the, uh, the one that solves the most problems. You know, you can mount things to it so unbelievably easy. You can make new parts for it. Um, and everything's so universal. So extrusion isn't the prettiest in my opinion, but it's the most uh, versatile. You can use it for so many different things. It's so easy just to put a, a piece of extrusion across and put some you know, flight pedals on your simulator or put a new arm on it and now you have a, a, a throttle quadrant for a, a fighter jet or something like that. You know, The extrusion simulators and the way that you can actually build upon them and continue to build your simulator, they're, they're top notch. I mean, think about it. Imagine you have a tubes chassis simulator and you want to upgrade the thing, but it doesn't actually have a, an arm for you, know, you to do helicopter or something like that. You need a new chassis. These uh, extrusion ones with, with you know, the way that they're built out, you can literally just get another piece of extrusion, get a corner bracket, bolt it all together, and now you can upgrade your simulator. So um, that's what makes these so beautiful. Sparco, we use Sparco seats on all of our sims. Um, I mean, we offer different ones. You know, we offer OMP, we offer Sparco. We used to offer Recaro, but Recaro now is bankrupt. We offer them, but everybody likes the Sparco. I mean, all of the ones in here, you can see they all say Sparco on it. Um, and so this is just what everybody prefers and so what we've always gone with. We do Sparco seats, Sparco sliders, and then what's super cool is right underneath the seat right here, this is where all the haptics are actually at. Because we still put haptics on all of our sims. So this is our amplifier. Uh, and then of course the power supply for the amp and you can't really see them but underneath the seat right underneath this bracket here There are some uh, haptics So some rumbler haptics that that pound underneath the seat and they give you that the, the vibration. They're very big. I mean, they're they're quite large uh, and so they give you a really good feel when you hit like the apex curbing or you go off track or you know even when you shift the car the vibration the feel that it gives through the chassis um, is pretty stinking cool even just the you know the engine vibrating like right now if you put your hand on the seat i can actually feel little vibration coming through the seat right now just from uh these haptics it's like the you know the car just idling you can feel it through the chassis so it adds more feel i enjoy it a lot um, that is our earthquake kit and uh, we're actually upgrading the earthquake quick to two 300 watt. We're gonna try this out, it might be too much, but two 300 watt uh, haptic base shakers. We're gonna see what that's like. That needs a 600 watt amp, we'll see. Uh, should be pretty cool. Um, so that's the seats. Chassis, seat, motion platform, we use SimiCube direct drive bases. Why do we use SimiCube on everything that we do? We get asked that a lot. People ask us and you know, um, send us a message, hey, can we use, uh, Sim Magic or this, or and we don't offer that stuff. We only offer SimuCube. And the reason why is because of just how reliable the unit is. If we're gonna uh, warranty this stuff, it's important that I have a lot of trust in the brand that I am adding a warranty to. Because not only do you know all of these brands have their own warranty, but here at SimCoaches, we add warranties onto other brands' warranties. So it's important that I choose brands that we can partner with, that we have trust in their products, that they're reliable, they're going to work. So SimiCube, we've never had any problems with their direct drive base. They always power up, they always work. I feel confident I can offer a beautiful warranty on top of SimiCube's warranty to make SimCoaches just stand out that much more on a racing simulator build. Don't miss Sim Industries for the steering wheel. Great quality. The button clicks feel so unbelievably nice. I love it. They feel, they, they feel great. They sound great. The clicks, the paddle shifters, the way that everything feels and sounds from this steering wheel, incredibly high quality. I feel comfortable uh, having Gomez or GSI on our simulators. Now, of course, our hydraulic pedals down here, uh, down here by your feet. These pedals are without a doubt the most important product or piece of product on your simulator. Because you can actually get away, and, and people know this, we hear it all the time. You just got beat by a guy on a Logitech G27 steering wheel. The steering wheel, you can get away with like having one that doesn't actually give you a whole lot of feedback. I actually, in a lot of ways, was much more comfortable with my janky G27 steering wheel because I had like such a, I raced with it for about seven years. It had this clunk in it. I knew exactly when it would clunk. That meant that, you know, what it, we were right at the, the limit of how much I could turn the wheel, and it was great. These direct drive bases, I don't nearly have as much comfort as I did with that clunky G27. So you can get away with having like a, a clunky base, but the pedals, having that much control down there with your feet of like when you get into a corner and you get on the brakes and you're able to press on the brakes firm, you can be firm, you know that it's gonna be able to take that beating, man, that's where people actually find themselves jumping up in terms of skill very fast just by changing their equipment because of how comfortable you know, they are with pedals because they feel just like the ones that are in your car. You know? So hydraulic pedals, of course, down here by your feet. The special thing that is on this simulator that isn't on um, the ones that we've done in the past, but we may, I mean, we're gonna start offering this because they're a, a, 
unbelievable. They are so beautiful. Are these Corsair 45 inch uh, monitors? These are their flex monitors. So if you actually look right now, they have a decent amount of angle, but I can come up and I can literally just bend this monitor and I can turn it into a flat monitor if I wanted to. We can increase, we can decrease the radius of each one of these monitors um, to get the angle that you want when you come around the driver. Now, of course, I mean, we want them to be curved, right? So um, the proper way to do this is you grab the sides with the handles and you pull them in. But since I can't get that handle over there, I'm just gonna come over here on the side and I'm just gonna push that out nicely. Grab this side, push it out just a bit and I'm gonna give it that angle back and you can see. But these are the Corsair Xenon Flex uh, 45 inch monitors and they are so cool. I mean, I've never seen monitors that you can actually just bend and you know put your own curve on it. Uh, and yeah, they look great. I mean, the colors and the detail on the monitors is absolutely beautiful. You, you know, the color, every angle that you look at it from, the color that it, it portrays, I love it. They look pretty spot on. This is not the only product from Corsair that we have on these simulators. Um, Corsair has a sister brand called Origin PC, and it's basically, you know, PCs built by Corsair. It's all Corsair parts that are inside of it. We love Corsair parts. Even when we used to build all of our PCs, it was basically all Corsair parts. Um, and so uh, Origin supplies us with all our PCs. This inside, on this simulator, the PCs that we strap with it are uh, Intel i9 4090 Ti, or 4090, I don't know if there is a Ti at this, but 4090 uh, GPUs. So the i9, this is, uh, we're in the fourth, 14th generation now, so it's the i9-14900K. Uh, CPU, and then of course the 4090 GPU. They have two terabytes of memory, uh, 64 gigabytes of RAM. Um, so they're very, they're very good the way that they're built. You can put a lot of different tracks and cars and do a whole bunch of different um, combinations. And yeah, the PC is going to be able to run it. So uh, this is our motion kit. You know, of course, also our monitor mounts. We don't sell these monitor mounts just like we don't sell the chassis. We, we just stock these things so that we can have them you know, for when somebody buys it. And this is very, very um, different in the way that it's actually laid out because these Xenon Flex monitors, since they flex or they, you, know, you pull on them in from the back and, and they, they flex, they don't have typical VESA mounting in the back of them like a regular monitor does. So this tower that it sits on actually is part of the monitor and so we had to make um, the monitor stand in a little bit of a different way or sit in different ways so that we can actually make those mount up. But I think it's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is our Pro Plus Motion Racing Simulator. You know, we can install these into houses all across the United States, into your house, into your business. Um, we've done it. We have a lot of them out there at this point. We know how to do it. We can do it fast uh, and we can do it reliably. We build machines, we build simulators that are very reliable. They feel absolutely amazing. They come tuned um, and we craft them to be custom to really fit and tailor your needs. Um, so if you want a racing simulator, this is something that you want inside of your house, inside of your business. You want us to build it for you. There's a couple different ways that you can get in touch with us. You can first start off by texting me directly at 702-246-2295. You can text me or you can call me on that number. Or you can send us an email at sales at simcoaches.com, S-A-L-E-S -E at simcoaches, S-I-M-C-O-A-C-H-E-S.com. And then we'll get in touch with you there. Um, or you can just go to our website and we have a bunch of different information on some of the different simulators that we offer there. The thing about simulators though, they're super custom. Uh, if we had all the different options of things that we could do to these simulators, our page would look horrendous. There would be way too many options. So just reach out to us, get in touch. It's kind of like building a car, literally. You could choose a different seat. You could choose different steering wheels. You could choose different pedal combinations. We have different shifters. We have different handbrakes. There's different screen sizes and, and there's a lot of different things. So uh, just get in touch with us. We'll build it out with you and then uh, we'll get this thing installed to your home. And then we don't stop there. We you know train you while we're in your home and do all that stuff. So that's something that you're interested in. Get in touch with us and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. From here though, guys, I'm gonna close off this video. I appreciate you sticking around, watching it. Don't forget to comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, like the video, and do all the things that you know that you would do for us because we're homies and that's what homies do. I will chat with all of you guys later. Have a good rest of your day. Peace out.